So this is the Corsican farmer and um, the Freemasons and these pharaohs and aristocrats and uh, next to Mr. Sarkozy they, um, they just stole his land and uh, you see it's very large here it's like he's having olive trees he's making biological oil which I explained before it all belongs to him and um, he doesn't even get a cent for his uh, for his earth for his uh, for the land which belongs to him uh, they took away his possession and it was sold on um, on, a, on, a, on a public uh, a, a public sale or a public uh, market they just uh, disowned him and took away his land and the guy who bought it very cheaply for 360,000 euros and he doesn't get one cent uh, for the earth of his uh, ancestors who have been living here for uh, many generations. So all these... Um, this is corrupt corruption. Uh, at the highest level, so they just disowned him like in a f f feudal system. It, it is aristocratic, the whole thing. And uh, he doesn't get a cent. He's, uh, they're probably going to arrest him on September the 10th and take him away as a, uh, as a criminal. That's what they're going to do. And put him in prison for a couple of days and then uh, put new locks on his house and, and so he can't get back to his... Uh, to what's him to what's his and it's all because it's it's a magic view on Sargon where Mr. Sarkozy is living well that, that's all behind it and his and his friends of the the Freemason friends and the the other pharaohs and aristocrats and uh, so I told them please stay calm and we do what we can and make it known and uh, so I hope for his children He's gonna stay calm, but he's, um, it, it's a big injustice, so it's very hard to stay calm. And uh, it's just pure theft, what's happening here. And it's happening to a lot of people. I mean, they have to, uh, they own the justice department and they own the police, and the Freemasons do. So they just uh, tell him what to do and they do it and they say, well, I just follow the orders and uh, I mean, this is the New World Order. So this Corsican is standing all alone against the New World Order and he doesn't have a chance. <laughs> So this is the abandoned beach here where I slept before and here is uh, Sargon and there about uh, about there somewhere is Mr. Sarkozy I think it's even the house Mr. Sarkozy where he lives Sar it means a king in the pharaonic language watch the pharaoh show so I'm here at the land of this poor farmer who is going to be extradited from his own land uh, for several reasons well you see here there's a nice outlook here and uh, <clears throat> they with very with a lot of trickery they trying to extradite him from his own land where his family has been for hundreds of years Corsicans so you can be damn sure that Mr. Sarkozy and his pharaohs and his Freemasons got their little dirty fingers in it
you know. And then they say, oh, the Corsicans are so aggressive. Well, they, they throw them out of their own land. Um, hoping even that they do some stupid things. So they can at attack the country again even more. So I'm standing at his land, at the farmer's land. So, uh, which of course Mr. Sarkozy wants to have for his, for his half-breed Corsican pharaonic sons, like. This is how it works. So Sarkozy, the, the French president and a pharaoh. So the Corsican farmer, he has this uh, olive mill where he grinds the presses. It's the only olive mill where they have cold pressed olive oil and they have this speciality that Corsican, poor Corsican farmers who don't have a mill or pressing instruments for making oil um, so they come here and have their own oil being made by this Corsican farmer with our own name on the bottle or on the can. So these sort of simple nice things, you know, ecological and, and what people do among each other. Of course, the New, the New World Order wants to break this. So they have the uh, monopoly of a big factory where all the oil of all these farmers is mixed into one grind. And um, so all these nice little things, they, 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 they're, be, they're gone. It's only Monsanto, you know. Yeah, bad things. And, I, and then after that, they say, oh, the Corsicans are so dangerous, you know. And well, what do you think if they, if they throw you out of your house and all his three little kids uh, are probably crying and, and where, where are they going to sleep, you know? <laughs> So here we see the so the new world order with Sarkozy and his pharaohs and Freemasons just standing above all laws and terrorizing and stealing the land of a Corsican farmer. He, now he sleeps the whole day, takes pills, he sleeps until noon, otherwise I would have started filming him. So but it's good I went here and have a look, you know, what's what's really behind the screens. It's Mr. Sarkozy there. He probably have been here and he said, probably said to himself, well, one day after I've been president, I go in economics and in business and this place here will be mine. You know, I am the pharaoh, everything is mine. They want more and more and more and, and steal from the people. It's the way it is. So here is the poor Corsican guy, you see the house, he's not rich. And uh, here is Sarkozy and the New World Order, just there, two minutes away. Well, I mean the lookout post.
Ischinella, si sta con l'arme dure e fuori di tu. Con una fronda e una cella, mi dà delle riuse tu. Con me, nell'antico corso mi dico, So this is the place where Sarkozy lived. I showed you the house. Uh, he got married here with a Corsican woman who was, of course, also a pharaoh, sisters of Isis. And uh, he even changed his name, just like that, into S-A-R-C-O-S-E, Nico, not Nicola. Nico Sarkozy. You know, that sounds very Corsican. They have the same sort of accent as in Sicily, you know, so... Um, and the name Sar, the word Sar, it means a, a king, like in the sarcophagus. I explained that in the Pharaoh show. So this is why the Corsicans are losing, actually, because they're all infiltrated by their independent movements, all in infiltrated by the Pharaohs, and they think they are Corsican, but they are not. Corsica, it means uh, the birthplace of the gods in Arabic. And there's the word ka, it means a soul when you're still alive. So it means we are living here, the pharaohs are here. So of course it has always, they've always been here. It's a nice, beautiful island, so they tend to go to places that are beautiful and nice. Yeah. Tu rispondi al nome canto futuro chi mi barca tu mi confondi quando per te son morroso dimmi barca i nostri amori come lo canto si ne conti so this is the beach of Sagon, where Mr. Sarkozy has is, is a nice view at. So that's the house. Nice beach.
Uh, this is the house of Mr. Sarkozy. And here's the beach, the sea. You know, pharaohs have a nice, best places. So I'm here in Sagon in Corsica. And uh, uh, at the other side of the, po the post office, so here's the post office. Uh, there is the house of Mr. Sarkozy. It's right here. This is his house. He got two children with a Corsican woman. And of course, Egypt isn't very far for these pharaohs. And it's uh, just next to this hotel here, Sirnos. Hotel Sirnos. So if anyone wants to pay him a visit, maybe some Muslims who want to drink a cup of tea at this place. So this is the name, Casa Kulioli. Where Sarkozy is living. So this is the name of the hotel, next to Mr. Sarkozy. So there's the rock I was standing on and uh, where the property is of this of the farmer and here is where Sarkozy lives and here the world domination on, so, on some sort of an overlay sticking out on some private property for anybody who lands here yeah so At least the nice beach is accessible. They are here. They're here. And this is the town where Sarkozy lives or used to live. Pharaoh's living here. Where there's nice beaches on top. World domination. Pyramid in Sagon in Corsica. Another pyramid. Sarkozy living there at the end of this road. And the Corsican farmer up there where I was the other day looking down. Mr. Seni. Who had his land stolen. Disowned by crooks. This is a pharaonic nest here. Even under the pyramid is a sun hieroglyph. And there is a poor Corsican farmer. He doesn't know what's happening. So if you want to go to Corsica, you want to go back. It's like a border check here. Everywhere in Europe, you don't need any more passport, except if you go to Corsica. Yeah. There's my boat. And dependence, it says.